What is up YouTube? It is Carrier your sidekick and today we are playing team deathmatch on the map Stronghold. So I am running the CUDA and I don't run any submachine guns ever in Black Ops 3 because personally I don't like any of the submachine guns. I've not found one that I really like in this game which is weird because in Black Ops 2 I loved submachine guns. I hardly ever ran assault rifles. I thought all the submachine guns were great and it seems like they would be just as good as they were in Black Ops 2, but to me, they seem like... I don't, I don't know what I don't like about them. The range on them is terrible. Maybe the maps are bigger in this game. I can't figure out why I don't like them, but for the most part, I don't like them. I actually do pretty decently with the CUDA in this gameplay because the reason I decided to go ahead and try and use it, so I'm, I'm running a completely different style. Most of the time when I play Black Ops 3, I play kind of laid back, not super campy, but I, I try to rush, but kind of laid back. I don't, I don't really know what to call it. It's, it's not, not rushing, but it's not, you know, being a camper. But I try to get most of my kills from range with a suppressed AR and that's just how I play because that just seems to be the way that it works for me. Now in this game, I'm trying super hard to rush. Just I'm, I'm trying to rush the way pub stompers rush. I will never be a pub stomper. I know I'm not good enough at Black Ops 3 or really any Call of Duty to ever be a pub stomper. Which doesn't bother me because I don't like pub stompers anyway. But I was watching Scumpy who is one of my favorite YouTubers. He's probably the only pub stomper I would watch because I think like he is legitly good at the game. He actually plays the objective. He's just good at Call of Duty. A lot of pub stompers, the reason I don't like pub stomping and I don't like watching it is because they will go play domination and they'll just camp the B flag. They get all the kills on the B flag. They call in some airstrikes and their airstrikes get them all the kills. And I just don't think that that's like a, a really good way to play Call of Duty. That's a cheap way to play Call of Duty in my opinion, which is one of the reasons why I never play domination because there's always someone that just sits there. I mean, in a way, it's it's logistical because you do have to defend the flags, but if you don't ever try to go cap flags, that's just annoying. So that's one of the reasons why I don't watch any pub stompers. But I was pretty recently watching a game by Scumpy, and he was wrecking, and he was actually, you know, playing the objective, and he was using the CUDA. I don't know what perks he was using, because unfortunately it didn't show, but it seemed like he was running really quickly. That's one of the reasons why I liked some machine guns, or I liked them in Black Ops 2 because your sprint speed is at maximum and it seemed like he was running really fast which I noticed he was doing some kind of weird jump thing where he would thrust jump and then kind of let off of it and then do it again and so I'm, I'm trying to do that and trying to learn how the slide works really well because I don't I honestly don't thrust jump that much in this game nor do I use my boost slide I, I just don't really use the thrusters that much which in a way I don't really want to because I'm honestly hoping that a future Call of Duty will go back to boots on the ground one day, who knows, but I'm hoping that it will because I personally like that better, like I, I really want them to get rid of thrusters, but for this game right now, I'm trying to get a little bit more used to them, but I don't want to get too used to them because if I do go back to an AR or a sniper, I'm not going to want to play this way, so, but anyway, so that's why I'm using the CUDA, I actually don't do too bad with it in this game, I get at least three triple kills with it, so that's not too bad, I think it feels really nice with the suppressor on it, but other than that, it's really the only submachine gun i found so far that I like. I've tried out the Vesper, which was really good for a while because the fire rate's ridiculous. I mean, people do still use it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not really having the best time with it. And other than that, I think I tried the Razorback for a little bit, which I did like for like one or two games. And then it seemed like I was doing terrible with it. I don't know. Sometimes when you try out a new gun, it seems like it takes a couple games for you to decide if you like it or not. And it just didn't seem like it was working out really well for me. So anyway... That's the background gameplay. What I want to talk about today is my first underground rave that I went to. So I actually finally have been to a true underground rave and it was pretty awesome. So I want to tell you about my story. So I have put up some videos of Life in Color and Glow Rage and I've talked about it a little bit in some of my Advanced Warfare videos that I love raves. I am definitely a raver. I mostly like raves because I just like EDM. I love electronic dance music. I think it's like a great genre of music and... A lot of other people don't seem to get that, and I actually think it's really funny when I tell people I like EDM because a lot of people are like, oh, what's that? And I'm like, it's like music that you listen to at raves, and they're like, oh, like dubstep? I'm like, yeah, it's like dubstep. Like, no, it's not like dubstep. I honestly do not like dubstep almost at all. I, I mean, Skrillex is pretty good, and I've heard, you know, a couple of dubstep songs that I like, but I think for the most part, dubstep is trash. It sounds like noise. It kind of annoys me that dubstep became a huge fad, and that is what I would call it. It was a fad. Like, I don't know that people really liked dubstep because they liked it. They liked it because it was cool. That's how I, f I, I, I truly do feel like it was a fad, and dubstep died. No one even knows what dubstep is anymore. Well, they do, but you, no one really listens to dubstep anymore and it, 
It's like, that's the only thing they know when you're talking about any type of, like, house music. What do I like? I like progressive house and I like hard style, which I would consider to be almost the same. Those are my favorite genres of music, and if you don't know what either of those are, who I would suggest mostly to listen to would mostly probably be DJ Hardwell. I think he is the best DJ. He's probably the biggest in the entire EDM world. Everything I've heard by Hardwell I've liked. Steve Aoki is pretty good and Martin Garrix. I've kind of just started listening to Martin Garrix. Like they're all really big names in EDM, so if you're into that, you would probably, you know, know these people already, but if you're not, that's who I would, you know, tell you to check out if you're trying to get into a new genre, but it's pretty awesome. I really do wish that more people liked that kind of stuff because it's actually a really good genre of music. Now, I don't go to raves for, like, the drugs and stuff, which I honestly, that's one of the things I hate about liking this type of music and liking raves is that people think, oh, you know, if you're a raver, then you have to be into drugs and alcohol. So, I'm not, and I just I pretty much do like that stuff just for the music. Now, I've never tried marijuana. The furthest I've ever gone is trying DXM, which is over-the-counter, but I don't do drugs, and I don't go to these festivals for that kind of stuff. Now, it was kind of weird, though. Within, like, five minutes of being there, my boyfriend got offered Molly, which he doesn't like raves, and he doesn't really like this type of music, so he wasn't having a great time, and that's why he got offered it, because some dude was trying to, like, loosen him up. And in a way, it kind of sucks, though, because I actually do want to try Molly, mostly because I've heard it really is supposed to make sex, like, awesome. And I know a lot of guys wouldn't understand this but a lot of women actually have more it's more common for girls to have sexual issues like with sex hurting or just not feeling as good as it does for guys and so I kind of want to know you know if it can make it better um, I actually did have a condition I actually had surgery on it and it is pretty much fixed I wouldn't say it's fixed like 100% but sex just isn't really that great for me I don't really want to talk about it too much but it's not awesome so I kind of want to know if Molly would you know maybe help enhance it so I can see what you know it's supposed to be like but Unfortunately, I I won't try Molly because you just don't know what you're getting. Like, Molly is pretty often not true ecstasy. A lot of times it is DXM or it's some synthetic chemical. And I'm not taking the risk of not knowing what I'm putting in my body. You know, if I knew it was true X, I might take it. I don't know. I'd have to do some more research. I've done a little bit of research. It sucks, though, because it's illegal. And I don't want to try an illegal drug, but... I've heard from people that have tried it that it's not that bad, but at the same time, I mean, I've never even tried marijuana, which is in the progress of become, becoming legal, so I don't really know how much worse Molly is than marijuana, but I don't know. It's something I kind of want to try, but I probably never will. I mean, I've never even been drunk yet, so I don't think I'm going to, like, just skip to the top of the plateau of, of harder drugs, you know, but... The only thing that sucked about the rave, so, you know, we were there for a couple hours. There was a local DJ, his name is Seiko, C3KO. You can check him out on Facebook. He's only got, like, 500 followers, but he's pretty awesome for being a local St. Louis DJ. I like him because he actually plays stuff that's not dubstep, which, unfortunately, a lot of people in the St. Louis area, they only play dubstep. So, and I think he actually ended up winning this DJ battle that we went to. So we were there for, you know, a couple hours, listen to him. After that, we decided to leave, and the only thing that did suck is that at the end of the night, there were... I think four people outside by my car and they had like all their stuff on my car they had like their backpacks and stuff and so I kind of had to talk to them and be like hey man we're leaving you know and they're like oh sorry you know we put our stuff there but they kept asking us for weed and they just wouldn't stop talking to us and I got a really bad vibe from these people and it was in a sketchy area of St. Louis and it was in a very dark parking lot and it was way in the back and I don't know it just sucked because I was really glad I wasn't alone if it would have been might not have been so good for me to be with three dudes there was one chick there but either way wasn't wasn't really the best but other than that it was a great time I had a lot of fun and yeah if you guys rave let me know about it and I hope you guys liked the video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later